In this video, we'll see how to work on header and footer. We'll see three different topics. How do we add header and edit header? How do we add and edit footer? And also how do we add the page numbers and also some formatting related to page numbers. So let us see the very easiest method to add a header. So what you can do is, uh, if you see, I'm on the first page of fourth page, total four pages I have. If you want to add a header, what you have to go do is, you have to go at the top of the page and you see there's a blank space which is added. You have to just double click on it. If you just double click on that place, you see there's a header which is enabled here and you can type in this place. So you, if you also observe, you'll get one more tab that is nothing but design tab, which will have the other options for that particular tab. That means for editing and formatting related to that. Now, if you double click outside, the header tab will go away, the design tab, and it will come out from the header place. So if you apply a header one time, it will be applied for all the pages by default, right? So if you just double click here, now you see it is started here. Now I can type some particular header. Let's say I'll type here as tutorials point private limited like this, so some text and I'll just double click outside. So once I double click, this is applied all the pages. If I go down, if I scroll down like this, you see the second page. Similarly, if I go to the third page, this way it's adding. Now, this is how you can add and edit it. But in case, uh, if you if you want to edit something, same place, just double click on it. You can delete or copy paste anything here. But now, if you want to change the position of this header, which is on the left, extreme left, if you want to change the position, how do you change it? Simple method, just you can do is, you can go to this insert tab, and uh, on the right hand side, if you see there's an option as header and these are the positions of the header. If you see on the extreme left center, I mean three type, three different uh, text you can write in all the place. And you see these are the names of the header, Austin, Bandit and so on. So I'll just again go to that place. So you see that's added here. You can also add some text here and here. If you want to change same method, you can go to uh, this place. Okay, once it is activated, you can go here also. In the design tab, you can go here also and same options you'll get it. So both the places you can get it. So if I just go down, if I scroll it down, yeah, if I scroll it down, you see these are the different types of uh, headers you can add. So this is one colored header. What I'll do is I'll just select this header. So the header which you created has been replaced by this header and you can just type some text here. So let's say I'll type here text as MS Word. MS Word 2016, okay, like this. And I'll just double click outside, right? So this header is applied at all the pages. If you observe second page, similarly third page and so on. So this way you can add, suppose you want to uh, remove the header and if you, or you want to edit the header, if you do not have a mouse, what you can do is you can go to this tab, uh, you can go to this insert tab or the shortcut method, you just press Alt from your keyboard, Alt. Then you can press N if you want to go to insert tab, N. If you want to go to the header, you see there's an option as H. You just press H from a keyboard like this. And uh, you, if you want to edit the header, press E. If you want to remove the header, press R. Now, if you, if I, I want to remove the header, so I'll press R from my keyboard and the header will go away, right? Similarly, we'll go for the footer part. How do we add and edit footer? Same method, no difference. The only thing is I have to scroll down. At the bottom of the page, I have to double click. So if I double click here, you see that's a footer which is enabled. It is the same tab which is there. And if I go to this place in the footer tab, in the footer option, same things are available. Only the thing is you have to just scroll down, pick up your favorite, you know, this one. Uh, I'll select this iron dark and I can just type here a footer. So I'll type here a footer as MS Word 2016 by tutorials point. kind of something I've written some text and I'll just double click outside. So this way on all the pages, this footer will be applied. So this is a very simple method. Same way, if you want to remove or edit the footer, you can just go to this insert tab and uh, you can go to this footer and there are same options, edit and remove. So I'll just remove the footer I do not want right now and I can just click on remove footer. So this way the footer can be added, edited and also be removed. It's very simple. Next. So the third one I have, how do we add page numbers to your, you know, header and footer? Simple method, again, go to the insert tab and on the right hand side, you see there's a page number and there are so many options available. Where do you want to add the page number, top of the page or bottom of the page? So if I select the top of the page, it gives me different styles, left hand side, middle, right hand side and so on. 
so left hand side middle right hand side and so on like this so what i'll do is i'll select the simplest one i'll select this option uh, since it is in the footer so it has given me in the footer place oh uh, sorry in the header place so this is the page number two if i go up it says this is page number one double click and it will go away right so same way every page the page number is added if you think it is not the right position you want to change the position again you can go to by the same method go to insert tab and uh, this way insert tab and you can go to this page number you can say this option as top the top of the page instead of top of the page if you want to change the position you just select the position let's say this one or now i'll select something else uh, let's say this one x and bar i'll select this x and bar so you see on the right hand side the page number is added same like you do for headers and footers you can also edit so i'll just double click it will go away if you want to edit you just double click on this place it will come back the shortcut method the long cut is you have to go to the tabs and you have to click on this place so that, that's it and uh, there's one more if you want to change the position of that page number you can go to the insert tab page number select bottom of the page or else the, it's similar if you want to add the page number into your margins so this one if you see that's a left margin of your of your page if you want to add there you have to go to this page number page margin and if i select let's say this one now if you observe the page number earlier was added into this header here itself now the page is added in this margin this margin see there so i'll just double click outside okay and if i scroll down you see it is the margin not the header or footer it is the left margin so page 2 similarly if i go down it says as page 3 so this way page can also be added to margins let us see one more example i'll just go to insert tab and i'll go to this page number and uh, yeah suppose you want to add the page number to your current position so you can use this option current position so wherever your cursor is blinking at that place the page number will be added so if you if i click on this place it says my cursor is at this place so at the current position my page number has been added right so you can also uh, you know add at different positions header footer on the margins and on the current position the last one how do you format the page number if you want some other formats how do you do that same process insert and then go to this page number page number format so i'll just click on this page number format i'll get this dialog box any type of format you want you just select from here so if i want abc or let's say abc and if i click on ok so you see it has changed to page a similarly if i go down it will be changed to page b so i hope you are able to understand so in this video what we have covered is we have covered how to add headers and footers edit those and also work on the page number that's all for this video.